Um, two years ago in 2013, uh, Charlie Miller and Chris uh, Valasek, who is with uh, IO Active, um, and Charlie is a well-known reverse engineer. He, he, he wins pwn-to-own co competitions re regularly because he knows how to look at existing systems and find vulnerabilities. They started looking at, uh, let's see, two years ago, they bought two cars, a Prius and I think a Ford. I don't remember now exactly which, but two cars and uh, using some DARPA-funded money to, to look at exploit prevalence. And they began plowing into these. At one point, as part of this sort of officially DARPA-sponsored project, they sent questionnaires to 16 different car makers asking them about their security practices. Based on the answers they received, they said, hmm, you know, Chrysler seems not to be really on the ball here. So let's take a closer look at, at their technology. To make a long story short, um, they will be, unless they're sued into oblivion <laughs> and locked up before mid-August, because, I mean, I'm, they're planning to demonstrate. Oh, is this for Black and, Hat? Yes, uh, for the upcoming DEF CON Black Hat Security Conference. We always look forward of, to this time of the year because oh, yeah. <laughs> there's a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> and these guys all save it up. They save it up. They know. Yeah. So they've they notified Chrysler some time ago. Chrysler, and there it is. This is the guy's brakes not working. His brakes have been disabled. Meanwhile, those guys were at home on the couch doing this over the internet. That's what's really scary to me. Yes. They did a scan and they found on the order of 471,000 Uconnect vulnerable vehicles. So here's the takeaway for our listeners and any friends you have that you care about. Um, this thing is called Uconnect. So you probably know if you have a Chrysler vehicle equipped with Uconnect. It is, you know, this is the bad stuff that we've, on this podcast, I've been saying for years, this is a bad idea. It's like, yes, everybody wants features, but there's no, we haven't proven yet we know how to do this securely. So what these guys found is a way to, to connect to the car over the internet and get to some, some firmware modules which are rewritable. And they rewrite the firmware on the car, which gives them access to the CAN bus. And as we know, the CAN bus is this bus that, that you know, CAN is sort of like, you know, we have an Ethernet bus and we have a USB and we have a Firewire. Wait a minute, they well, put car... their picture on his car? <laughs> Was that one of the things they did? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, they, they, they completely took over his instrumentation. Oh, this is horrific. Changed the channel, turned up the volume, disabled his volume control. He, <sighs> there he is trying to turn it down and it won't now, go down. We had we had two other guys on the show talking about similar vulnerabilities. Is this the same or different? This is different, but this is, I mean, this is this the, the this, this is the same genre. This is the same problem. Because the CAN what, bus is on everything. Yes. The CAN bus is the universal glue. Among oh, and they also killed his engine. They di they disabled his transmission. He went into neutral, then cut his engine, I, and this was all over the internet remotely. Wow. Yes. So, so I mean, the demo so, that they gave us when they were on was not over the uh, internet. They had to be correct. next to the car, right? Correct. Well, what happened is Chrysler said, "Oh, let's allow people to do internet." Crap! Who knows what well, you can do with this? My car does that too. I have a T-Mobile SIM in my car, and I have 3G yeah. access. Well, these guys use Sprint, so this is a Sprint system, and and all the cars on the road are broadcasting their location. Oh, these guys kn know where they are, how fast they're going, where they're located, what kind of car they are. Um, and they're able to. By by changing the firmware, that gives them internet access to the car's CAN bus, 
and then it's just a matter of how much time they've spent hacking. The, the, the first, so they, they can kill the engine, cut the transmission, uh, disengage the brakes, or uh, abruptly turn, put on the brakes. They've got steering override in reverse so far on the Jeep, and they can track the car by GPS, measure its speed, and even drop pins on a map in order to trace its route. Aye, aye, aye. 